Hunting PvP locked hard crime in episode 4. You guys seem to enjoy episode 1, 2 and 3. And this time around we have plenty of new strategies and plenty of more PvP locked hard crime and killed. Hope you guys enjoy. We're starting off by showing my 10 HP Hardcore Iron Man that was created to hunt other Hardcore Iron Man. And after killing Hardcore PvP Liam for my 100th kill without dying, I decided to retire this account. That was until I saw Oda Block streaming a PvP locked Hardcore Iron Man. So I rebounded the account and I had to go for him. Wait, he's sending him. Stop, stop. Stop! Stop me! Don't die, Baldi. Stop talking. You thought you could win. kill me? You thought you could kill me? You thought you could... Now I got cabbage for food. Now I got cabbage for food. Don't ever... Don't ever disrespect me. You hear me? Don't ever disrespect me. I'm the best player in the game. And you think you could kill me with some stick? The... Zagger. Say what are you pissing there? Well, there's no way he pissed his Zagger. There's no way. <laughs> but before we continue, I am very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering great boxes in top quality from not too well-known brands. It is very simple. You just fill out a quiz of your interests and preferences and the box will be sent out to you every single month. I personally love cooking and dining and I got specifically that, two boxes based on my interests. The first one being an Ulu cutting board together with an Ulu knife, perfect for cutting vegetables and slicing meat. I also got myself a mold wine set, perfect for my family gatherings. And keep in mind, every box has at least $70 in retail value, but costs only $4 to $5. And if you don't like the box you have been assigned, feel free to swap it for one of their many other boxes. And I have a great offer for you, get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at bspk.me slash cengineer and use promo code cengineer20 at checkout. Link in the description down below. There is one thing that gets me going more than anything else and that's a low level hard crime man with a bounty. And this hard crime man by the name of Jug vs Trix had a 25 mil bounty on his head. I killed him. Trix vs Jug is dead. I think he had a 25 mil bounty as well. And here it is, as promised, 25 mil bounty. By looking at the XP gains of Hardcrime and Masa, me together with the Hardcrime and Hunting Discord managed to track him down to Karamia, killing Moss Giants. Masa, TB, I got TB on Masa. I got TB on Masa. He's AFK. Oh, he's dead. We killed hardcore PvP Masa 69 with a 31 hit. Beautiful. 693 total level. It's not much loot, it's all about the kill, and we got the kill. There are so many locations in PvP worlds where you can easily scout them, but they can easily tank to a bank. And for this reason, I had to try a new strategy where I try to spec them out in one second. Here we go, here we go. Shast! I shast him! And when the granite mod didn't work, I had to try out a different strategy with a 200 mil investment. No, he, I, I need it. TV on him. Seven oh my god, I killed him! Holy f 75 with the volatile. I actually maxed. 
Oh my goodness. This is the highest hardcore Iron Man killed I've ever done. 1,237 total level. I wasn't recording, but we, we did kill him again for a bounty of 6.5 mil. So we made a total of 8 mil from killing this hardcore. Oh, 48 on heights, on heights. He's down here. I'm just saying hi to him. Right, he's down at the chest. Oh, he, he actually killed me. What? <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Awkward. The hunter becomes the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Poison, can he die? Come on. He's dead. He is dead. One is dead. He says K as he dies. My friend Hamgard scouted and tracked down a free to play hardcore Iron Man. And normally I ignore all hardcores that uses free to play worlds. But this time I decided to help out. Oh no, he's got cap. Free to be a hard cry, man. Is dead. <laughs> man, that was a quick kill. 400 total. That's wild. This next hard cry, man, is a private on hard cry, man. And I must say, I respect all hard cry, man, that play with private on. He's dead. We got him. We killed Abso. Good fight, hardcore Abso. Good fight. We got him. 977 total level. 64 combat. That's a great kill. That's a big kill. Here I was getting a good night's sleep at 1 a.m. And I started getting my Discord spammed with messages. Apparently, rank 3 hardcore I am and Dust, who have achieved quest cape and much more. He started doing tank tests with PKers, and then he asked if I wanted to tank test him. And without any hesitation, I woke up, geared up my accounts, and I decided to go for him. Is he not tabbing? Oh my god! I just need one big hit. 7-5, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, we got him. We got him. Oh my god, we actually got him. Oh my god, what was that combo? Dude, why? It's so weird, why did it do that? What's the coins? After killing PvP hard crime and dust, we decided to talk to him and ask him why he did it. And apparently he died to PvM just an hour before this tank test, and he wanted to die to PvP. Uh, which is a respectable way to go out. I'm not gonna say how he died. I will link his video down in the description so you guys can watch it. And the bounty for killing Dust was 110 mil. Good fight, Dust. Good fight. It's always sad to see a hard crime and die, especially one who have been in the game for such a long time as well. And with that kill, I think it's time for me to retire as a hard crime and hunter. 
There are still a handful of hard crime and I haven't taken out the game yet. But for now, I will go from being the hunter to being the hunted. As I was editing this video, I spotted a regular hard crime and in PvP worlds going to what I thought to be the Chaos Fanatic. And he was going to the Chaos Fanatic. Please? Oh no, is it there? You can log? No, you didn't. Oh my god, Stiflery Combat 78 is down. Oh my god, and you witnessed that, Stefan. It was a normal hot, it wasn't even a PvP hot grandma, it was a normal hot grandma.